Just bought land. land. Guys, we bought a hundred acres of beautiful Puerto Rican beautifulness. Literally, it's almost as far as the eye can see. Literally, like the size of a team park, right? <laughs> Madness. So let's give you a quick tour of all the highlights on our land. We've literally been dreaming about this forever. And we've been wanting to announce it to you guys. We actually started paying for this land. Like a year and a half ago. And we officially finished paying it. We paid it within three installments. And now this whole thing is ours. This flat land that you see here, we already carved it out. That's where my parents are gonna be building their house first. We'll be living in it until we create our dream house in a separate spot, which we'll show you in this video. Coming up on the entrance, we have our coffee stick fence, which is gonna go all the way down. Yeah, it. we did this ourselves. We've been cutting the wood, sanding. We actually still have to sand it, actually. It still needs to be sanded and then stained. Like, it's giving to loom vibes. All right, let's go in. Let's some of our cute little trees. We planted over 200 trees here already because we want it to be like a big fruit forest. What is this tree? Do we know? <laughs> we like have little tags on them to try to remember what they are. Oh. Guay Guaynab. Guayaba. Guayaba. This is a guayaba tree. The guava tree here. He's currently over there peeing. Okay, so this was actually left here by the previous owners. So we're definitely going to be removing that trailer and that truck. Oh, is this electric fence on right now? Mm -hmm. It's not on? Oh, bless your soul. Don't put it on. I'm not going to put it on. Yeah, but you're scary. Move it away. <laughs> Get your fingers away from it. <laughs> Louis, put it... You're actually evil. Get away from the fence and I'll hop under it. Further, further away. Ah! <laughs> okay, so on this land, we have lots of plans. We showed you where my parents are gonna build their house. We're eventually gonna show you where we're gonna build our house. And then here... This is like our favorite little valley. This is so, so cute. Look at that tree. That's our favorite tree right there. That tree, we call it the tree of life. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's kind of like avatar vibes here. We're going to be creating like a bunch of eco lodges here for you guys to be able to stay in the future. Uh -huh. So we're super excited. This is going to be like one of the valleys. No way. Horses, cows, like we always find new animals here. I know we said the other tree was our favorite, but this is our 200 year old mango tree. Oh my God. It's so beautiful and magnificent. A beautiful, wonderful tree. <laughs> Right now we're heading to the river. It's a little bit of a trek away. <laughs> How many cow crafts have you stepped in so far? Um, probably about eight. Like I can actually feel it in my toes. It's just... He's been saying we're almost there for so long and we're still not there. Ah! Uh. God damn. So we have made it to the lake. This is currently super mucky and brown because it just rained yesterday. Yeah. So this happens. But it's huge. But it's actually super big. It goes like really far back. And then this middle area, we're gonna be like cleaning it out, and people are gonna be able to like kayak. come kayak, go like fishing. It's gonna be so fun. And then when we have kids, they're just gonna be able to like have Swim. fun. And then just over that way is the river. Ah! <laughs> As we've kind of mentioned, with this land, we're gonna be creating our dream home. My parents are creating their dream home. They already started building the plans for it, and. We're going to be creating the eco lodges that we mentioned for you guys to be able to stay in. And on top of that, we're actually going to be completely self-sufficient. All the food that we eat is going to be raised and grown on the farm. And they're all going to be pasture raised the way they're supposed to be. All is completely ethical, organic. We're going to have solar power. We're going to collect rainwater. We're going to completely be off grid, but also on grid. We had this cleaned before so we could easily get to the river. But a lot of plants have grown since the last time we've cleaned it. Plants grow so fast. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of our favorite parts. This is where we come all the time. When we run out of water, we bathe here. Our pups bathe here. This river has saved us so many times. We come here all the time. We'll sit here and read. We'll just enjoy it. And technically, the river is outside our property. Like, it goes along the outside. Yeah. Because in Puerto Rico, no one owns rivers. But the thing is, no one comes to this random area area in the middle of nowhere so it's basically just our river like we never see anyone here it's a bit murky right now because it's been raining but usually it's crystal clear and there's also fish those little fish that suck on your feet and your dead skin you can literally come here to get like a foot spa yeah. i'm actually gonna do that right now because look at these shoes this spa is where we open our one million youtube plaque yeah <laughs> so we call this the beach it's kind of been run down a little bit because there's been a lot of flooding yeah. there's like a little i don't know what you would call that what mini waterfall area mini waterfall there. this is just like super cute and then this is our land here this is one of our top contenders 
to actually be our home. Because we just love to have like a house there and then like... Like up there, a little bit higher. Not really close here because... Flooding. flooding. But it would be like up there. And then we'd be able to like come right back to the river. And just like chill at the river. Whereas like my parents are going to have a trek to get to the river. I can be super close. Then we go a little bit further this way and we make it to the waterfall. And that waterfall is amazing. That's like our go-to like hangout place with the family. And this is this angle where we're gonna like have our house and our little like yeah. river going along there. And it's I've really never... secluded. Like there's trees everywhere. So you cannot see in here. We still haven't gotten like a full layout of how we want the house to be, but we basically want it to be like a castle. So we had to wait a little bit Yeah. to like save up some money so we can build our castle. But that's kind of the vibes we're going for. Like eco, earthy, half earth, half building sort of thing. She's dying. From here, we have a view which leads all the way to the ocean. Once the grass is all cut, you'll probably be able to see the view. When it's not cloudy, you can see the ocean. Well, all the way over there is a trailer we showed you at the very beginning. And finally, our last highlight spot is the waterfall, which is that way. There's turtles in there. Huh? There's turtles in there. Woo! It's deep, isn't it? Alright guys, we hope you liked our tour. We just got home. We forgot to do an outro, so we're doing it now. Stay tuned to our Instagram because we're, we're gonna do a bunch of polls to kind of figure out like what should we do? How should we make our house, our room, how should we decorate? So follow us on Instagram. And thank you guys so much for following us on our journey. Like this has been the best freaking two, two, three years of our lives. So comment down you. below if you made it to the end. Love you guys.